Immunity frames are a crucial concept to understand in Terraria. They affect both players and enemies and make sure stuff like this and this doesn't happen. So, how do they work? Let's start with player immunity frames, which are the most well understood. When you get hit, you get immunity for 40 ticks, or 2 thirds of a second. And if you have a cross necklace or any of its upgrades, it doubles to 80 ticks, or just over 1 second. However, two special circumstances can extend immunity even further. When you dodge an attack, it triggers an immunity frame and grants you an extra 40 ticks of immunity. So with the cross necklace you can get a whole 2 seconds of immunity, or 1.33 seconds without. The exception is hollowed armor, which triggers 2 seconds of base immunity on holy dodge. With cross necklace this would be 2.66 seconds of immunity. However, if you roll a dodge in the same hit as holy dodge, you'll receive a whopping 200 ticks, or 3.33 seconds of immunity. So, you might expect these immunity stacks to be rather powerful, and they are. But, if you've seen any PvP footage in Terraria, like in THC, you might note that they get slapped around a lot more than 1.33 times per second. This is because PvP attacks always trigger 8 ticks or 0.133 seconds of immunity. This means you can get attacked extremely rapidly, 7.5 times instead of 1.33 times per second during PvP. This does however mean that any weapon that attacks more than 7.5 times per second, like many guns or multi-shot bows, are capped an effective fire rate of 7.5 per second. So it is much more ideal to use slower and higher damaging weapons in PvP, especially since players typically have higher defense values than most enemies. This is especially true in Master Mode. Now time for enemy immunity frames, which are a bit more complicated. By default, enemies get no immunity frames, meaning they can get attacked as many as 60 times per second. However, this would not work with piercing weapons, which would hit a single enemy multiple times. So instead, when the piercing projectile strikes an enemy, the enemy receives 10 ticks or 6th of a second of immunity. There are a few exceptions to this rule. The last prism only grants a 12th of a second of immunity instead of a 6th, owing to its rapidly attacking beam. Luminite bullets don't grant any immunity at all, given that it's generally used with high fire rate weapons. However, if an enemy is already immune, it will not ignore immunity. Only hitting the enemy 6 times per second is a bit weak though. So, Terraria specialized in three types of piercing immunity to help keep weapons balanced. The immunity I just described is called Global Immunity. This means that the piercing immunity applies to all attacks. This is the most common but is becoming disfavored as it sometimes means unintentionally creating immunity frames. For example, in 1.4.4, many weapons are switched to Static Immunity, which I will explain next. Static Immunity only applies to projectiles of a certain type. If I used a Death Sickle on the Destroyer and my friend was using a Jester's Arrow, with Global Immunity, my Death Sickle's immunity proc would block the Jester's Arrow. However, with Static Immunity, the Death Sickle's immunity would only block Death Sickle hits, meaning the Jester's Arrow would work as intended. This is the most favored by the developers at the current moment. An even more liberal interpretation is Local Immunity, where immunity frames would only apply to a specific instance of a projectile. This is mostly used on projectile swords so that projectiles don't cause immunity frames to block the sword. The best example of this is the Star Rack, where the stars would block each other's damage since they fell so rapidly. Static immunity would not be appropriate here since they're all of the same type, so local immunity was used. This buff to Sarath's damage was so significant that the stars themselves had to have their damage halved to compensate, though overall DPS was still improved massively. This was necessary since the vast majority of weapons in Terraria are balanced around global immunity, so adjustments need to be made for the transition to static or especially local immunity. And yeah, that's it. I don't know if this is ever going to be useful to you, but I hope you enjoyed. If you're among the 85% of viewers who aren't subscribed, I ask you to subscribe. Here are some other videos of mine as well. Thank you for watching, and good day, and goodbye.